Hi, I'm David from Electric Teaching, and this is part eight of making your own grapher. I'm going to dive right into it because we got a lot to do here. I'd like to resize my graph and have the and have the equation. Excuse me. I want to resize my grid and have the graph and of the equation move with it or graph regraph with it. So that requires us to change the k value. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to put the instruction for that. And we need to put it while we're in the game, the loop of the graph equation. So I'm coming down to graph equation. And then inside this loop, the only commands we have are Q and Y right now. And of course, quit to allow us to exit. So this is the area where we're going to put the actions, the keyboard actions for resizing it. And then we want to blit the information, let's say, maybe right above it. So how about right about here looks good before we get into the loop. So quick comment. This is the resizing instructions. Okay, resizing instructions. That's the resizing of the grid, that is, the resize of the grid. I don't want to say resizing. How about just resize of grid instructions? And we immediately need to have an instruction command. So I'm going to borrow one from right above where I see it, taking it from the y-intercept there. And I'll paste it in. Always double check to make sure you do have things tabbed correctly. Otherwise, that causes errors. And let's see. Um, the instruction I'm going to have is, I'm going to go all the way to the comma there. Um, basically to resize the screen and I'm going to put keyboard command so I'm going to do select s excuse me select s and I don't think I want to separate it with commas I think I'll just do spaces um, m for medium s for standard or small m for medium l for large and how about o for oversized and this is obviously not going to be as as perfect as a ti-83 and to resize anywhere but what i'm trying to do is resize to graphs that i would normally deal with in a typical mass situation um, so you'll see what i mean in a minute here um, select s m l and o for different grid sizes how about that that seems fine close the quote make sure the color changes it does and this instruction i actually want towards the bottom so i'm going to use the height command to get us started for placing it and i want the instruction to be let's say right above right above the um, y equals command so i think the y equal command as i recall starts at about 30 pixels off so if we put this one maybe, oh, I don't know, as high as, oh, let's try 70 pixels. Should be able to easily see it, and I don't think it'll conflict with anything there. So that gives us the resize option. Resize option. Now I'm going to come down here, or gives us the instruction, I should say. And I'm going to come down here and add some instructions for resizing grid which basically means calling up a new graph the new k and then calling up the graph equation again to take us right back to where we are so lf a little comment here first so these are the resize commands okay resize commands and we're going to do an lf event key double equal k underscore s i want to be able to come back to the standard one that i had before so i'm basically calling up what i already have if they hit the s key it just refreshes the screen and keeps uh, uh it keeps the same standard size or if i'm at a different one it'll come back to this size i want to call up the graph paper the graph paper uh command i'm gonna call up the graph paper command oh i, f I forgot to set the k I always set the k first so we're starting with k equal 25, k equal 25. And so I'm just going to send that k and the equal, uh, that k back to the graph paper. So I'm going to come all the way back up to where I have my graph paper command. Just double check, and I did. It passes only k. I want to double check what it passes so I don't cause an error. Come back to the equation and pass the k I've just reestablished to be 25. I also want to graph the equation. I want to graph the equation. So that's the graph 
EQ, and it really bothers me that I didn't capitalize the graph paper there, but capitalize the graph EQ. Sorry about that. That's got to annoy some people out there as long as, as well as me. I apologize for that. So we've got graph EQ, graph EQ, and it passes two things, the equation, then the K. So I'm going to pass the equation back to itself, and then the K, so that it has this information. So all I'm doing is running graph paper and graph equation again. To be sure this works, and before I do any copying and pasting and making the rest, let's run it. Okay, so got it up on the screen. Got it up on the screen, and I want to do uh, something with a nice curve to it. How about, oh, L log 10, so the log of X. Okay, so there's the log of X curve, but what if I wanted to see higher Y values? Obviously, this doesn't hit the first value until 10. That's the X, the, uh, excuse me, yeah, X equals 10, it produces 1, which is the exponent of 10 to the first, if you don't know that. That's how this graph is made. So let's try hitting um, the S key and just see if everything restarts. And seems everything worked. I'm going to check the shell. Yeah, seems everything worked. I'll close it. Okay, and I did not get the system quit that I usually get. So maybe something did happen. I'm not positive. Let's resize it by copying and pasting. I don't see any errors to keep me from doing this. No typos, etc. So I'm going to copy and paste it. I don't like the way that copied and pasted. I always do it from the top right. It's better to copy from. And then paste, paste. Let's see, we wanted M, M. And when I choose a K here, when I choose a K, this is very, very, very important. K has to be a factor of the width and height. So what I tend to do is I make everything over here factors of 100 and then just make sure my width and heights are in hundreds and therefore they're factors. For instance, 20. And right here, 10. And right here, Five. All of these are factors of 100, therefore factors of anything in the hundreds. We'll do the 10 as the large L and O for the oversized one with K with, with five pixels per grid line. So that'll give us uh, quite a few uh, X and Y coordinates to look at. So let's try this again. Let's try, how about N for the natural log of X? And let's multiply it by X to really stretch it out. Again, I'm a math teacher. I tend to like having fun with these. And so you can see we've got a nice looking curve here. I'm going to hit some keys. If I hit M, oh, it resizes, but I'm not sure if it redid the graph correctly. L, that looks better. O, so let's see. L, M, M doesn't look right. That's interesting. S, S is right. M, so, hmm. Let's try another graph real quick. So I'm going to hit Q and resize it. Let's do O, uh, X times cosine. I'll try that again. Back, whoops. All right, let's do X squared. That just worked out to be there. So let's do uh, S, M. Yep, we do have an issue with M. i got to check that out. L and O. And I recognize what the issue is right here. See how the vertex is off on both? I believe after all the, the comments I've made about uh, re making sure my factors are consistent that I didn't do that somehow. So I'm going to try to fix that problem and make sure that it works correctly. But that's basically what's going on there is that um, this wasn't a factor or M is seeming like not to be a factor of my width and height. So I'm going to come back up check my width and height and it does seem to work so that's interesting i'm going to have to investigate a little bit more on that and then on the next part we're going to start plotting points we're going to start plotting points and i'll come back with a resolution to why that didn't work for m that's interesting so let me just try real quick um uh, 15 you know, i don't know I really don't know. I think we're going to have to take a look at that. I'm David from Electric Teaching, and I hope you're enjoying this.